Hey guys and welcome to book club uh, number three I believe. Uh, apologies for the, I think this is a couple of days late. I was struggling to get through this book um, unfortunately because it... <laughs> I don't want to say it's a bad book, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad book. Problem is wasn't the best book if you know what i mean so what i found with this book was <sighs> what's the best to what's the best way to explain it without being a dick Okay, so the best way I can explain it is it doesn't bring anything new to the genre and if anything, I feel like it takes away from older books and puts it into a newer book. It takes like a bit of this book and a bit of that book, rams it together, puts it in the book. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, but it does it so in your face, if you see what I mean. It does it so in your face that it's kind of annoying. So, um, don't be wrong, it's a great book. Uh, I struggled to get through it because characters were... I, uh, I, don't, know, I, don't, I don't know how to pinpoint it, but it was... the, the char I didn't like some of the characters, some of the characters I did, and I thought it could have gone in a better way in, in, to make it more interesting. Like, for instance, obviously, uh, if, you, if you watch this well, spoilers, book, uh, and if you're wondering what book we're reviewing, it's in the title, um, of, Blood and F uh, of Blood and Fire, The Bound and the Broken, book one, by Ryan, is that Cahill, I believe? Um, so, you know, the book starts off pretty cool, you've got, you know, younger people in the thing, they're going to do this, this... Uh, what is it called? They call it the Proving, I believe it's called. Um, where they go and they go in the wild and they have to kill an animal and bring it back. And there's a conflict between boys. See, that, that this whole beginning bit of the story was cool, but completely unfucking necessary. And it, and it like, it pins up that, um, yeah. Kaylin, is it Kaylin? It's Kaylin, right? Yeah, Kaylin has uh, an enemy in this other dude uh, who's in his village, which I can't remember his fucking name because he was that unmemorable, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, so, yeah, it was him, and then he buggered off somewhere, I don't really know, and went off with Inquisitors. I'm not really doing well explaining myself. But th th this is the main point of this book that that if if you're gonna watch and take away from it is this, it is pretty much Aragon and Wheel of Time mashed together. That's what I felt. That's that's the way I felt when I think because it was like oh there is a boy, and he gets approached by strangers and these strangers are uh, there and he does something to make them like. Like he finds an egg, and the egg is calling to him. He is the chosen one, and the obviously the mentor of the egg is like, I don't, I don't know. He is like the heart of gold, because this guy is like, yes, you are the dragon rider, and that's fine. I don't care. Uh, no, it doesn't have to be one of my sons who have been traveling me for God knows how many years, and I think they probably deserve it more than you, you little shit, who's just come out of a village, um, pissing his pants, and that sort of stuff. Um. And none of that. I mean, there is, um, you see jealousy in one of the sons. I think it's actually both the sons. That's a very human thing, but at the same time, you just, you're just like, well, it's, if they're, they can be jealous all they like, but the dragon's not going to choose them, and there's nothing in the world that's going to make the dragon choose them, so they need to get the fuck over that childish shit. And I felt like that was a very, it was, it, the, it was good the writer put it in there, but at the same time, it was like, 
unless this relates later in the plot to them betraying him because somebody says we can give you your own dragon I don't give a shit um yeah and like you know they, they had to leave town because inquisitors were after them and the thing with this they, they went back to the town um, and Matey's you know father got killed and his mother got killed and it was like you know it, he escaped and did this and did that and it's just like <laughs> sorry I don't know why I'm yawning so much but yeah I don't know what do you guys think of it like if you guys have read it I I I there were some bits in it I really liked some bits in it were just bland like Dan as a character um Caleb's friend he was an interesting character but then they had the separation with the other character game with ah uh, was it real 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 something I don't know but he was like the magic one he was gonna learn magic um and obviously Kaylin can learn magic because he's a dragon rider and Dan is sort of gonna be the arch dude um <clears throat> so I feel like they'll obviously all meet up again and maybe the do begin of art might actually turn into their like biggest threat or arch nemesis or they'll be like oh yes you're my arch nemesis but then they get back together and now they're all best friends and su su such and such and such but the the biggest saving grace biggest saving grace about this book it might not end like Aragon. And if anybody tells me Aragon had a good ending, you can shut the fuck up. Because it, it, its ending was fucking horrendous. I'm sorry, it was fucking horrendous. The whole story was undermined by that one scene. Um, but yeah. Anyway, back to this book. So we were actually going to see, like, decent dragon combat. And you saw it at the end of the book where they went back in time and they showed you how, like, they got the egg out and how the last survivors and the survivors you might see in future books. I'm not sure if you'll see them in future books, to be fair. I don't know how long ago that prequel, like, prequel scene was. Um, probably was a long time ago. But then, if there were elves, in hundreds of years. Um, so you might see some people from there and they might actually help train Caleb. Um, so I feel like this book... As soon as we get past this bullshit of them copying Aragon and the Wheel of Time and having this very simmering... Like, because when you, when you read the book, it's like, um... Divided by war, mistrust, high lords of the south squabble to fight and only to be kept in check by the dragon guard, traitors of long time past. And you're thinking, this book is gonna be sick, we're gonna have fucking dragons, we're gonna have wars, we're gonna have fucking this, that, lords and everything. And what we got pretty much was a farm boy going from A to B he met a king, don't get me wrong, he met a king you know he convinced the dwarves to fight for him <clears throat> and that's fair enough but I didn't feel like I feel like the prequels to this would be so much better um just because like this guy is there is one against however many the dragon guard have i don't know how many the dragon guard have um it's thousands in the books i missed it but they they could find him don't talk bullshit this is a world of motherfucking magic like get some of his blood hair fucking anything they could find him he's got a motherfucking dragon with him you can't tell me that cannot be tracked Okay, they have dragons themselves. They could send out like ten adult dragons if I don't know how many they have. Um, if, if they have that many, ten adult dragons, fucking go get him. They could just fly around. They'll find him sooner or later. But yeah, so I do feel like it's very much an interesting book. I think it has great potential, but at the same time, I didn't like it too much. I think it will have 
it will get better as it goes on. But at the same time, characters didn't speak to me. Um, I, I rest the reason the characters didn't speak to me was because, like, Kaylin was... I don't know. I felt like he wasn't... I don't know. Maybe he just he, he just wasn't intelligent enough for me. He wasn't like I don't know. But he just didn't speak to me. If you know what I mean. They're like I I just feel like maybe the whole book didn't speak to me because they were like very much. It was literally like at the end of the book it was like oh yes we have the dwarves coming now and. Literally, the first person Aragorn went to see were the motherfucking dwarves, right? I'm not, I'm not wrong there, am I? And it's like, bruh, bruh. He's obviously gonna go see elves at some point, bruh. I think it was the dwarves he went to see first. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know he was. He went to a city. Like the book, it was so fucking. Yeah, trust me, it was. It wasn't bad, but I was struggling to concentrate to listen to it or find the willpower to listen to it. But yeah, but overall, book. Do I think it was good? Yes, it was good. Do I think it could have been better? Yes, I feel like they need to take away from Aragon and branch out by itself now. Like it's got a following, you know. I don't know if it's it's clearly got lots of people reading it. It's got like, yeah, but it needs to branch out on its own and do its own thing. If I if if I hear if I read the, if I read the next book of that and it says. Oh, yeah, we went to the elves now. Oh, and the elves taught you uh, separate magic that only the elves could have taught you, and it transforms you um, in some way. I'm just going to be like, this is a ripoff of Aragon. Get fucked, I'm not reading it. And then if if, <laughs> if the last fucking fight... It's like, it, I think it's called the spark. And if the last fight, he manages to stop the spark of the main enemy, I'm done. Like... It's literally Aragorn reskinned, but we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, um, I need to find another book for next week. Do leave in the comments down below what book you want me to li listen to. I don't know what you want me to listen to, but I will endeavour to try find a book. Right, let's have a look. So, what are we looking at? Okay. Okay, we'll give this one a go. It's called The Cruel, Cruel Prince. The Frolic of Air by Holly Black. We'll give it a go. Alright. So we'll give that a go next week, guys. Hopefully you guys have in uh, 20 minutes. I'll definitely cut this down looking for a book. Um, so it should cut down to about 12 minutes. Um, I will see you guys next time. I don't know how long this book is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 370 pages so shouldn't be too bad um so hopefully you guys have enjoyed i will see you next time in a bit and peace i get me books to review